Okay, so I'm going to get some diamonds made to do some snowflake with. And the one that I have started is just under an inch. And this is glass that I had made. Um, and this one actually came out a little bit. I, I cooked it too long and my edges got thick. So I don't have this one up for sale. It's just for me to play with. But it cuts like regular stained glass. It's just on this situation where I got these little bulbs here. It's not quite as easy to sell that. So I make my little strip. Pull my little, this thing likes to get stuck in there. Pull this to 60 degrees. And to get my first cut, what I do, let's see if I can bring you in here. I saw this from another glass artist, and I'm sorry that I can't remember who it was at the moment, but I've seen it. A couple of times on YouTube, you go to the corner of your piece and you line up your cutter. And since it's so thick there, I'm going to cut backwards. And you get that. You get that off there. Now this is probably going to not break right. See, I'll have to file that. But it's close enough to work. Because I don't even think I can grow that off. It's just too, too tiny. So, then you set your stop up. Right now my stop is really tight. Based off of this piece. So you put that piece down. Kind of hold it in place. Bring your cutter back in and you line that up right there on the edge. Now I know where my stopper needs to be. And actually with that little bump there I'm going to give myself just a tiny bit of space here. There we go. Now you can take this piece off. This is tightened down. Come over here, make your cut, and voila, you have a diamond. And what I was working on, let me get a little darker background for you to see. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Is this one's going to obviously have to be filed there, but this will match up to my other diamonds. And it's like Dr. Seuss made a snowflake. Oh, I need one more, don't I? <laughs> Two, four, five, I need six. So I need to cut one more and then I'll have a snowflake. Voila. A Dr. Seuss snowflake. And of course, like I said, the the bits that don't fit right because of the uh, the initial part, I will definitely have to grind before I foil. But there you have it, one quickie snowflake with funky glass I made. <laughs>